our 27 travels. One question that we get asked a lot is where we feel the most comfortable traveling to. So we wanted to film a video about the most LGBTQ friendly places that we've been to while traveling. <laughs> like the places where we felt the most comfortable or you know no one really cared that we were a same sex couple. Whenever we travel somewhere new we always like to look up the laws of that country to make sure that we're going to be as safe as we can be because there are a lot of countries like around 75 countries where being gay is still illegal where gay marriage isn't legal or recognized so we just like to make sure that wherever we're going even if we do want to visit those countries where those laws are that we're still being as safe as we can be while we're traveling we want to make it easier for people who are and aren't in the lgbt community to be able to kind of know that you can go here and you can be comfortable you don't have to worry about it for this video we decided to ask some of our favorite lesbian travel influencers what they thought their favorite places were that they've traveled to where they felt the most safe so make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video because that's when we'll be sharing our favorite places that we've traveled to as a lesbian couple. But there are so many great places in here, so many great people in here. So make sure you watch the whole video because you don't want to miss anything. <laughs> hey, I'm Sarah. And I'm Rachel. We are a couple. We live in Chicago. Um, we have a YouTube channel together. I think one place that really sticks out for us was Amsterdam. The Netherlands as a whole is such an inclusive um, environment for all, uh, even outside of the LGBT community. They have amazing people everywhere and rainbow flags and just the inclusivity and the warm welcome that we got when we got to that country was overwhelming and very appreciated. Amsterdam also just had like a really fun kind of party vibe that we loved while we were there. There's so many cool things to do. We went to the ice bar and- The red light district. Yeah, there's just <laughs> so many things to walk around and see. So we really had a good time there. I've heard that Amsterdam Pride is amazing. I haven't mm -hmm. been, but if you're thinking about Amsterdam, I highly recommend you check it out. Hey guys, my name is Arielle Scarcella. You can find me at Arielle Scarcella, and I've been doing videos on YouTube for over 10 years now. Just recently, I started doing travel videos because I want to show that there are safe places for lesbians to go in the world besides lesbian events like Girls in Wonderland and stuff. Right now, I'm in Jacksonville, Florida because one of my favorite things to do is to go to the places that people wouldn't expect to be gay friendly, but there are so many gay people here and a few trans women actually too. But my favorite LGBT destination of all time has to be Palm Springs and Barcelona. It's a toss up between the two. Barcelona, so many gay people, so many lesbians, so many straight people at Gay Pride that just were wearing rainbows, little kids were wearing rainbow capes and stuff. And Palm Springs is home of the gay bears, but you know, I love gay guys just as much as I love lesbians, so it's fun for me to go there, and it's beautiful. Hi guys, so I am Justina, I'm 26, and I come from Lithuania. And my name is Misha, I am British, and I'm 30 years old. We've been together for the last four years now, mm -hmm. yeah, and we've been traveling the world together for two and a half years. What is our favorite LGBTQ plus destination and why? So we think that our favorite for that is Soho, which is in London, in United Kingdom, and that is basically the epicenter of gay community. Yeah, it really is amazing around Soho. There's this one street, it has so many bars and restaurants, all gay friendly. Yeah. There's a square called Soho Square. Everyone chills there in the summer evenings, mm -hmm. takes a cider, takes a bottle of wine. Mm -hmm. It's just really nice and chilled to be around there. Although I say chilled, but we do go to this bar called G-A-Y bar. Everyone's dancing. Everyone's, Everyone's going crazy going there. crazy. And beer there is three pounds for a pint. So it's a really good place to be. Hello. Hello, I'm Charlotte. I'm Natalie. And together we are Our Taste for Life. We are travel bloggers from the UK. We've been asked by the amazing 27 Travels to describe our favorite LGBT destination. We've traveled a lot. We've been to many countries in Europe and outside of Europe and nothing quite beats our home country, yeah. England. There's no judgment there. It's just such a vivacious gay community. It's so much fun. Loads of supportive events. Yeah, and we can just be free and open to be ourselves at all times. Hi. Hi. Hi guys. My name's Tegan. And I'm Amira. And together we are Girls, Girls on Gay K. We are based in Sydney, Sydney Australia. Australia. Favourite lesbian friendly destination? We think probably London. London. Um, we found there was a lot of cafes, a lot of clubs. Um, that were all LGBT friendly. We even saw these traffic lights that had like li little lesbian symbols in them and like gay symbols and 
trans, trans symbols, symbols, which was really cool. We just felt like everyone was a lot more accepting. There was just- No one even looked twice with it. What's up everyone? It's your girl Kinda Simone and I'm an LGBTQ plus influencer and newly found traveler on the space that we like to call social media. The best place that I feel like I could be me in is gonna be New York City. And I know it might be the most cliche place, but New York City is the state that I came out in, the state that I feel most comfortable, the state that I call home simply because I feel like I can be myself 100%. I don't have to look over my shoulder because I'm a woman interested in women. So if you're looking for a city that's in the US that is very LGBTQ friendly, and especially to lesbians, it's New York City. I think I've run out of my lipstick, haven't I? Oh no! Sad. Okay. Okay. That feels better. Her <laughs> I'm Megan. And I'm Whitney. And together, we're, we're wagging. Um, we are YouTubers and bloggers and also wife and wife. So we're here because 27 travels have asked us what our favorite destination is as a lesbian couple. So maybe what that? It's definitely Oahu, uh, which is part of the Hawaiian Islands. I used to live there for six years, so it's really near and dear to my heart. Growing up in the South, Hawaii was the first place I ever moved to where I could fully be out and proud. And I was very accepted as well amongst the, the Hawaiian locals. And also we got engaged there in 2011. Just the island itself has this, what's the word? This vibe that is just- Aloha spirit. <laughs> the Aloha spirit actually. Yeah, it's just so accepting. It's so loving um, and it welcomes all walks of life. What's up? We're Lindsay and Meg from dopesontheroad.com. We blog together, but we have separate Instagram handles. Today, we're here to talk to you guys about our favorite LGBT friendly destinations for your next vacation. My favorite destination is super new. It's my first time here. We're actually filming the video from Lisbon, Portugal. We've been able to wander the streets. I've been correctly gendered nearly every single place that we've been, and the food is incredible. It's top, top of my list now. Really enjoyed Portugal as well, but I think my favorite LGBT destination is gonna be Portland, Oregon in the United States. I think it's got a little bit of everything. You know, you got your beach, you've got your mountains, you've got your city all rolled together. And the city motto is stay weird, which I think fully fits us. Yeah, fully fits us. Hi everyone, I'm Nelly. I don't have a travel blog or a website, but I do share most of my memories, adventures, and travels along with my fiance on Instagram. In terms of my favorite LGBTQ friendly destination, I would have to say hands down it was Norway. Not just because they were very open to us being a lesbian couple, but they were truly the happiest, friendliest people we've ever come across. It was quite an experience just to like walk down the street everywhere, holding hands, no one would turn their heads, we never got asked if we were friends, if we were sisters, if we wanted separate beds, if we wanted separate bedrooms. Hi everybody, I'm Roxanne. And I'm Marcia, and we're Once Upon a Journey. For the past two years, we've been traveling the world as a couple, and we've been traveling all over the place to places that welcome us with open arms, but also not so friendly destinations. Our absolute favorite destination is Thailand. It's perfect for everyone. It's perfect for a romantic getaway, but also for your honeymoon. Thai people are super welcoming and there's smiles for everyone. Yeah, you might think, oh, Thailand, everybody's going there, but there are still hidden gems in Thailand and uh, it's like something for everyone. Amazing food. Amazing <laughs> food, yeah, so definitely Thailand. Hey everyone, my name is Leah. I am a full-time solo traveler. Let's talk about my favorite LGBTQ friendly travel destination. I'm definitely gonna have to go with Thailand. 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 As soon as I got there, I just felt welcome. I felt accepted. I think I went to Starbucks and the cashier was a trans woman and she was just fierce. She was flaunting it. She was not, you could tell she was not uncomfortable. She was really being her true self. I saw many, many gay couples, um, lesbian, um, gay, trans, and just open, just open, full PDA and there's no issues, everybody was just happy, and that made me happy. I'm Zaid, I'm a Leo hairdresser from Adelaide. And my name's Jackie, I'm a Sagittarius photographer from Sydney. We are a travel couple, and we enjoy learning new experiences together. And our favorite LGBTQIA destination is around the world that we've been to together is... Thailand. Thailand, you win! Thailand. 
definitely feel that Thailand, for a longer time than most Western societies, has had more of like an exposure to different people's um, sexuality preferences. So they've got a lot more of it. You can tell that there's generally more of an acceptance. Hey guys, I'm Tatiana. And I'm Lax. And we're girlfriends who travel. <laughs> we're a lesbian travel couple that just loves inspiring people to get lost and explore. So our favorite LGBT travel destination, honestly, is Ireland. We didn't get any looks, we were holding hands, we would kiss, we would be all flirty. Because we went to Dublin and we went to Galway and both locations, we felt like completely normal, we felt like comfortable. Yeah. But both male and female same-sex activity has been legal in Ireland since 1993. Mm -hmm. So that's why we weren't really getting that many looks yeah. because it, it's, normal now. it's normal to them. Hey! It's Jenna here from The Genoway. TheGenoway.com is my blog. I am a queer travel blogger. My favorite lesbian travel destination would be for sure Madrid. I was just there and it was honestly incredible. Everywhere we went there was LGBT couples, there were pride flags hanging from the balconies when we did our walking tour. It just was the most inclusive environment and it's just so nice to be surrounded by your people. Hi, uh, we are Baru, Kati and Kiri. From our Instagram account, we are called Adventure West. We are a married, LGBT, lesbian, traveling couple. <laughs> and we live uh, full time in our self built van. If we have to pick up, pick one country, specific one, this would be... Yeah, Spain probably, because uh, you can just see everywhere same-sex couples and uh, they even have a city which is completely made for gays. And you can see rainbow flags everywhere. Yeah, it's called Sigis if you want to visit. We are Danielle and Anna from It's Fabenich, Rebel Couple. I am from Miami, Florida. Anna is from Rome, Italy. We live quite far apart. The places we've seen so far together, probably like Spain, is it's yeah. been the most like uh, gay friendly. Yeah, definitely Barcelona has been yeah. really gay friendly. Miami is quite an LGBT friendly place. And there's like a whole beach dedicated to to LGBT. You can go there. A lot of gay bars. There's a nice like gay neighborhood. It's so this was pretty hard for us because we've been to a lot of places and we actually had really good experiences almost every single place that we've traveled to. But I think my favorite place that we've ever traveled to that was the most LGBTQ friendly was New Orleans. It's in the southern part of the United States, which is known as not being as accepting of the LGBTQ community or same-sex relationships and things like that. But when we went there, we had a great experience. We were holding hands, we were walking down the street, like no one said anything. There were even like a bunch of like pride flags, like waving on Bourbon Street. Mm -hmm. I would definitely recommend New Orleans as just like a fun place to go in general. Like the place itself is super awesome. But if you're a member of the LGBTQ community, I think you'll definitely have a great time there. So the place that I felt the most comfortable traveling to as a lesbian was Italy. I felt like Italy was amazing. We basically just were completely ourselves and everywhere we walked nobody judged us, no one did anything. If anything people were like, oh you guys are cute. And at some point Shan and I were like eating spaghetti on the street and sharing the same strand of spaghetti and like no one even cared. So thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully it was super helpful. Thank you to um, all of our travel influencer friends who were a part of this video. We loved all of your answers. Hopefully everyone else loves all of their answers. We loved hearing it. We were like, oh wait, we have to go here and yeah. here and here. And we're gonna link everyone who was a part of this video down in the description so you can make sure that you follow them, subscribe to them, whatever social media channels they have, check out their blog. And hopefully their tips and our tips helped you guys out for your next trip. Thanks for watching our video. Make sure you subscribe and leave us a comment down below of your favorite place <laughs> that you've ever traveled to where you felt the most comfortable. See you next time.